Hi guys, this is Tetsu with another Phoenix tutorial and uh, this time I'll take a look at the Phoenix Ocean Texture and see how you can use it together with the V-Ray Displacement Modifier. And uh, the image that you see on the screen is a very basic result of that setup, so let's start. For the ocean surface I'll create a standard plane object. So I'll just create one in the viewport and uh, I want to make sure that my system units are set to meters. So one unit equals one meter, hit OK and uh, I like to keep both the system and the display units the same because uh, it's pretty straightforward and uh, easier for me to work with. So just hit OK and uh, center this to the world and let's give this plane a size. So I'll set it to 50,000 and let's zoom out. Okay, so this will be the uh, surface of the ocean and uh, I'll need far more segments for this. Uh, so I'll just increase this value. And uh, now I can create a camera. I'll use a physical camera and I'll just drag somewhere. And I'll place the target in the center of the world. And I'll center it on the X and let's place it somewhere here and uh, I'll just uh, raise it just a bit above the um, ocean surface. So I'll set this to 5 meters on the Z and if we take a look from the camera this is what we see. And now I can create a light and uh, I'll actually use the V-Ray Sun. I'll take advantage of the V-Ray Sky, so press yes and take a look from the camera to adjust the position of the sun and I'll set the target to the center of the world and hit render. Okay, so I'll need some uh, material for the ocean, so I'll just open up the material editor and uh, set up some very basic shader and give this a name. Give it a fog color. And decrease the multiplier. Assign the material to the plane. I'll change the display from uh, material to object color so that I can see the uh, ocean in the viewport and uh, have an idea of where it is. And if you render again, you can see I have the ocean, but uh, there are no waves. So I'll add the V-Ray Displacement modifier. It's down here at the bottom. And uh, to get a displacement, I'll need uh, to specify a texture. And uh, that's where the Phoenix Ocean texture comes in. So to create one, I'll open the Material Editor. Right click, Maps, Standard. Phoenix FD Ocean Texture and let's take a look at the options. The first checkbox is the Vector Mode which uh, switches between Vector Mode and uh, Normal Displacement Mode and uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, if you are using this with the Phoenix uh, Simulator or the uh, in this case the V-Ray Displacement Modifier you have to set uh, the displacement uh, to, uh, to Vector Mode as well and uh, if you are using the Phoenix Simulator you can just go in the rendering and here under the displacement uh, make sure that the type of displacement is a uh, vector as well. So this will give you the best uh, results. So I'll just delete this and uh, control by wind speed uh, it actually changes the texture between two modes and uh, by default you are set to physically accurate mode and in this case the height and the speed of the wave are calculated according to the wind speed and uh, if you uncheck this you switch to uh, absolute mode and uh, the height and the speed of the waves are calculated directly from the wave height and uh, the velocity and uh, I like to keep this uh, turned on because uh, it uh, automatically uh, takes care of these two parameters level of detail is uh, very similar to the levels in the noise texture so if I set this to something low 
I will get this uh, blurred image and uh, if I increase it I'll get more detail. Uh, the wave height is the amplitude of the waves and when you're in physically accurate mode uh, like now this is a multiplier to the amplitude and uh, if you switch to absolute mode this will be the final wave height in scene units so uh, keep in mind this if you switch the texture between the two modes the level offset it uh, just adds additional shift to the displacement and uh, the sharpness uh, specifies the peakiness of the waves. In older versions of Phoenix it was necessary to change this value depending on if you're using it uh, with the Phoenix emulator or with the V-Ray displacement modifier but now it's unified and uh, you can just use it as it is and uh, it will give you a consistent uh, results with both. The velocity is the speed of the waves and again if you're in uh, physically accurate mode uh, this is a multiplier of the speed and uh, if you are using it with absolute mode it uh, sets the velocity in system units per second. So again keep this in mind. And uh, the velocity coherence uh, controls the wave direction variation and uh, if you set it to 1 it means that uh, all the waves are moving in the same direction and uh, if you set it to 0 it means that uh, all the waves are moving in random directions. The seed is uh, just a random generator and uh, the wave crest is the length of the waves and by increasing this you just offset them by the nominal length. Well these are all the parameters and uh, to be honest the only thing that I am changing when I am setting up the oceans is the wind speed. I uh, either increase it or decrease it uh, in order to get the desired look and uh, in some rare cases I found that the level of detail uh, might be useful but apart from that I think uh, all the other parameters are ready to be used uh, without any tweaking. So I'll just select the plane now and uh, apply the ocean texture, drag and drop over the texture slot, hit OK and a pop-up appears where Phoenix offers you to uh, set up the V-Ray displacement modifier for you so I'll just click yes. And uh, what it did, it went through all the necessary parameters that need to be tweaked and uh, adjusted those for us. So you can see it set the displacement mode to vector and uh, it also adjusted the limits. And uh, the default limits are in the range of 0 to 1 and with, uh, with uh, the range from 0 to 1 you get uh, waves that are clamped and uh, in order to uh, be sure that uh, there is no clamping in the waves, you need to uh, raise these uh, limits higher and uh, that's exactly what Phoenix did. And uh, the only parameter that uh, Phoenix leaves for us is the edge length parameter which uh, basically specifies the overall quality over the displacement. And 4 is a pretty good quality but it will require more time to render and for now I'll just set it to something hi higher like 12 and uh, hit render to see the result. And it's done in uh, 30 seconds. So I'll just uh, try now with the edge length of 4. So I'll set it to 4 and uh, re-render. And with 4 it uh, definitely looks much better but uh, it comes with its price uh, from uh, 30 seconds render time it's now 1 minute. Uh, I've also rendered it uh, to uh, half HD and uh, again with 4 segments and uh, it rendered in 3 minutes. So you have to find uh, what works best for you guys and uh, basically this is how you use the Phoenix FD Ocean Texture with the v -Ray Displacement Modifier. I hope uh, this was useful for you and uh, I'll see you again.